hello youtube welcome back to the channel so here i have with me the 3000 watt to power your load as well as charge your battery sako eson off grid inverter okay so it is a smart off grid hybrid mppt solar inverter so this is like an all-in-one unit so this is the 3 kva version okay we have a qr code here made in china dimension and all take this up This is the basic unboxing experience. This is the USB cable that comes with it. You can connect this to inverter and this to your computer. Connect to the watch power software. We have the inverter here. So this is the inverter, very portable. At the top, we have the communication port with your computer. So you can access the information on the computer. Here we have the Wi-Fi port. And also you can see the identification card assembly check you have the function test you have the aging test you have the function test to carry it out and also you have the appearance check so all this was checked also you have this um, warranty sticker so here you can claim warranty in case you have issues and say we have some several warnings here that um, you should ensure the PV watts and PV VOC does not exceed okay so it should not exceed the rated input so the second one also says ensure the power required connected by ac equipment does not exceed the rated capacity okay so sometimes there can be surge um, on appliances like freezer compressors and all that so overloading may damage the inverter so also we have if connecting the pv inverter in parallel the inverter must set to parallel before connecting so i'm not sure this inverter also even have a parallel mode okay so if they are both um, condition are met and the inverter is damaged then uh, warranty will be voided so if all this was what caused the inverter to be damaged then you cannot claim this warranty according to them other side here we have the switch so on and off switch we have the dust filter okay so you can remove this unscrew this and remove the dust filter clean that up and replace it this is a very cool feature even on this budget uh, device. The port, we have the PV input. This is maximum input voltage in terms of VOC, VOC 400 volts. So it's a 24 volt version. So we have the positive and negative terminal for the batteries. So we have two cooling fans here, one for the inverter and the second one for the MPPT. Ground connection here, AC input, and also we have the AC output so this is a 3 kva inverter let's have a look at some specs here is on 3 kva and this is 0 0.9 power factor it can power load of 2700 watts so operating range is from minus 10 degree to 50 degrees and you can see inverter mode meaning from the dc it can take 113 amps from the battery okay so that's what is rated for ac output is this so 230 volt you can also set to 220 so here we have the rated solar charger for 3000 watt so and you can see the maximum input current is 18 amps so all you need to do is to connect all the panels in series so if you are connecting all the panels it must be in series okay and you can see the maximum solar voltage is 400 volt as seen earlier 3000 watts what do you get from that so you can use the 3000 watts to power your load as well as charge your battery so the 3000 watt is battery charging plus load okay so this is rated for maximum of 80 amps mppt so the 80 amps will charge your battery while the remaining power will go to your load if you have any load connected there's a missing screw so i don't know how that happened okay okay so this is it thank you for watching subscribe for more videos okay wait 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 it's like i found the screws okay so the screws are here so i just looked also i found receipts because actually i bought this myself so I bought this myself so you can see that's the price uh that's the price um circle so 
as it thank you